What's going on combat sports fans? I'm Crazy Joe here with Big Dog Jimmy as my guest here for predictions for Bellator 172. This is our last minute predictions for the five fights on the main card of Bellator 172. We're going to go over them real quick, uh, you know, so uh, though we're going to go with the first fight from what we understand it's going to be uh, you know, the main event is obviously Fedor versus Mitrione, which is going to be awesome. But let's get to the first fight. We, I believe, to my understanding, it's going to be Josh Koshak versus Mariko Mar Alonso uh, in the first fight. And Alonso is 12 and 7, and Josh Koshak is 17 and 10 in his pro career in MMA. This is going to be very interesting as. It is Josh's debut in Bellator. He's coming off of a five-fight losing streak. It's crazy, uh, you know. So it's gonna be interesting. This started when he lost to jo Joni Hendricks, then Robbie Lawler, then Tyron Woodley, then Jake Ellenberger, and Eric Silva. And uh, you know, so now he's making his debut. It's gonna be interesting and intense. He's going against a guy who's on a two-fight win streak. Uh, right now, but actually in Bellator, when he made his debut there, he lost by unanimous decision. He has since fought in Conquer, Conquer Fighting Championship, uh, which I haven't seen yet, or, or and I haven't seen Dragon House either, and he won those two fights by unanimous decision where he's coming off of a two-fight win streak right now, and I'm going to be going with Josh Koshek to win this one by KO, TKO, and give Marci, Marico Alonso his first loss ever in his pro career by KO, TKO. Big Dog Jimmy thinks Alonso is going to put down Koshek and submit him on the ground. So let us know who you uh, who you going with. Do you think that I'm right with Koshek winning by KO, TKO, or do you think Big Dog Jimmy's right winning it? Uh, with Alonzo winning it by submission. Now we're going to go on to the next fight, and it's going to be two women fighting. Uh, let me get over here to their stuff. So, and then um, let's go here. So it's uh, Berta Ortega versus Brooke Mayo. I'm Brooke Mayo. She is actually making her pro MMA debut. And Bellator, and this will be her first combat sports as a pro in MMA. For her amateur career, she's actually pretty badass. From what it looks like, she's got five wins with one loss. She's um, coming off of a three-fight win streak. Her for amateur career, what it says here, she won by unanimous decision. A KO in the third round, lost by unanimous decision. Won by unanimous decision. Uh, won by Ray Naked Choke in the first round in a TKO in her last fight in the third round. So it'll be interesting. Will she carry on that success? Will Brooke the Bully Mayo win her uh, pro MMA debut and Bellator debut against Averta Ortega, who is on a one fight losing streak uh, by split decision at Bellator 161? Uh, she's got two wins by decision, one loss by decision. And she, uh, from what it shows me here, she's got one loss as an amateur, doesn't show anything else. So I don't know a whole lot about these women, but I'm going with Brooke Mayo to win this one. Big Dog Jimmy thinks that the woman with the more experience with the three pro fights is going to win this one by decision. I think Brooke is going to win by a KO, TKO victory in this one is what I'm calling for. I believe Brooke is going to take out Averta. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Are you going with me with uh, Brooke winning it by KO, TKO? Or are you going with Big Dog Jimmy with Averta winning it by decision? Uh, or, you know, are you what fighter are you going for? Let us know down below. So now we're going to the next fight, which is going to be an interesting slugfest with Czech Congo versus Oily Tomlinson. Thompson, um, you know, Oily Thompson, the Spartan, he has got 17 wins, 9 losses. He is coming off of a loss against Matt Mitrione at Bellator 158. Prior to that, he was on a 5 fight win streak. But for Czech Congo, he has got 25 wins, 10 losses, and he's on a 3 fight win streak right now where he won by majority decision at Bellator 161. So it's going to be interesting to see how these sluggers do. These guys are, 
if they throw some heavy ass hands as Congo has 12 wins it says here by KOTKO four by submission and we got uh, Oily Tomlinson. He's got seven wins by KOTKO, uh, six by submission, three by decision, with one other, I guess, probably DQ or some crap. Um, and he's they both lost in every which way you can. He's uh, Oily Tomlinson. He's lost four times by KOTKO, two by submission, three by decision. Uh, Congo was lost three times by KOTKO, one by submission, six by decision. I'm going for Congo to win this one by a KOTKO victory over Oily the Spartan Thompson. Big dog Jimmy thinks that Thompson is going to win this one with a, with a KOTKO. So we both think it's going to finish the same way, but we're disagreeing on the fighters. If you're going with me and Congo, let me know down in the comment section down below. If you're going with Oily Thompson and Big Dog Jimmy, let us know down in the comment section. And then we go to the co-main event, which is going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to this one. As we got Josh Thompson, the punk, versus the Pitbull, Patrici uh, Fajera. Uh, and this is going to be awesome. As Pit, uh, it's uh, Patrici Pitbull, 16 wins, 8 losses, and the punk josh thompson he's got 22 wins and eight losses thompson is coming off of two wins right now with a uh, tko victory at bellator 147 and pitbull patrice is coming off of that horrific ko by mike chandler at bellator 157 i am going with Patrice Pitbull to win this one by a KOTKO. Big Dog Jimmy's actually agreeing with me, but he thinks it's going to be a submission. He thinks that the Pitbull is going to submit Thompson on the ground, which is interesting. I, uh, you know, as Thompson has never been submitted, so I don't know how come, like, Big Dog Jimmy's like, I want to see a first ever. I want to see the Pitbull choke out the punk and make him tap out for the first time ever. Is what Big Dog Jimmy's telling me. It's crazy. I'm like, wow, that's pretty ballsy for Big Dog Jimmy. So neither of us are going for Thompson. I do like the punk Thompson, but I'm a bigger fan of Patrice Pitbull, and I believe in him, and I think he's going to turn around and come back, and he's going to come back viciously and knock out or get a TKO victory over at the punk thompson let us know down in the comment section who do you agree with with the finish do you agree with me with patrice pitbull went in by kotko or big dog jimmy with the submission for pitbull patrice over thompson and now we get to the epic main event of the night which is going to be awesome and i like when they announced that mitrion was going to be main event and i was like all right and then fedor came out i was like oh my god the fedor elemento the last emperor has signed with bellator and it's at bellator 172 it's gonna be crazy when the last emperor fade or elemento takes on meathead matt mitrione and uh man this is gonna be nuts it's really hard to pick with this one but um me and big doug jimmy are not seeing eye to eye on this one at all i am going with matt meathead mitrione to win it by a knockout Knockout, 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 knockout. Victory over Fedor Elemenko in the first round. Um, you know, because that's how he does. He's got 11 wins, 5 losses. Fedor has got 36 wins, 4 losses. Matt Meathead has got 10 wins by KOTKO, 1 by decision. He's been KOTKO twice, 2 times by submission losses, and 1 decision loss. He's on a two-fight win streak since coming to Bellator with a KO over Carl Simonanapata. And then he got a TKO victory over Oily Thompson at Bellator 158. He lost, though, last time when he had a big, gigantic, um, like, explosion on his face. Like, his eye, like, it looked like, so it was just like, <laughs> uh, that he, uh, that was when Travis Brownie popped him in the eye, poked him in the eye. Uh, first off, and then he kept on punching him over and over again in that same spot. <sighs> Crazy. Um, you know, so I think he's going to pick up that knockout. And uh, Fedor, he is a beast. You know, like, I'm a fan of his, but I just don't believe he's going to win this one. You know, when you look at the, what happened with Fade, uh, Fabio Maldondo and him, it's like, I think Matt Meathead Mitrione's a lot tougher than... Uh, Fabio Maldondo. Don't take nothing away from uh, Maldondo, but uh, I think he has got harder punches and hands, and he's a bigger dude than Maldondo. Uh, I think 
Mitrione is going to knock Fedor out full lot, and it's going to be an epic highlight reel forever. Uh, you know, Big Dog Jimmy, he thinks that Fedor is going to win this one, and that it's going to be a KOTKO victory for Fedor over Matt Mitrione. Let us know down below what he thinks is going to be an epic highlight reel that will be remembered for all times as well. Like, he thinks it's going to be Fedor knocking out Matt, and I think Matt's going to knock out Fedor. So we're disagreeing on that. At least we agreed on one fight. Let us know down in the comment section your thoughts and opinions. Do you agree with me with Matt winning it, or do you agree with Big Dog Jimmy with Fedor winning it? Let us know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, slap that like button around for us to show us that you enjoy the video. If you like our predictions, slap that like button. If you're new to the channel and you have not yet, punch that subscribe button into submission and uh, share the video with your family and friends. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Hope you're going to enjoy the fights tonight. Thanks for watching our last minute predictions for Bellator 172.